Welcome to ECLEMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed a gold leaf electroscope, which is an instrument which is used to measure electric charges. We also looked at the main parts of a gold leaf electroscope, right from the cup to the leaf, and we also discussed the functions of each part. We also looked at in other lessons how to charge materials positively and negatively by induction. In this lesson, we are also going to discuss how we can charge a gold leaf electroscope uh, positively and negatively by contact method. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe how to charge a gold leaf negatively by contact method and how to charge a gold leaf positively by contact method. What I need you to have is a knowledge of charging materials that we discussed earlier. And we said if you want to charge a material using a contact method, if you want it negatively, then you will use a negatively charged rod. You use a negatively charged rod. And if you want to charge it positively, then you use a positively charged rod. In simple terms, charging by contact method, you use the rod which has the same charges as the type of charge that you want to acquire in a gold leaf electroscope. So if you need to charge it negatively by contact, then you will introduce a negatively charged rod. If you want to charge it positively by contact, then you need to introduce a positively charged rod. So we are going to charge a gold leaf electroscope by contact method. And what I want you to remember is that when you are charging by contact method, there is no other thing. Just like what we charged on charging materials, when we were using contact method, we were not adding. And another important thing that you should remember is that when you are charging by contact method, the leaf or the material will acquire similar charges as the charging rod. So also when we are going to, to charge a gold leaf by contact method, if we need it negatively charged, then we are going to introduce a negatively, negatively charged rod. And if we want it positively charged, then we are going to introduce a positively charged rod. But for the purpose of this part, we are going to charge this gold leaf electroscope uh, negatively by contact method. And for us to charge it negatively by contact method, then it means we will introduce a negatively charged rod. So for us first to charge, we need a neutral uh, gold leaf electroscope. I'm going to draw a sketch of a neutral gold leaf electroscope. It means the number of protons and the number of electrons is equal. Like in this case, we have one proton and one neutron uh, at each part of this gold leaf. Here we have a plate. We have one proton there and one neutron. We have a leaf where we have one proton and one neutron. We have um, a rod, a metal rod where we have one proton and one neutron. Then we have a cup where we have two protons and two neutrons. Now, if we want to charge it negatively, then we will introduce a negatively charged rod. If we introduce a negatively charged rod, then our gold leaf will look like this. Now, this is a leaf, which is neutral in this case. What we have just done, we are introducing a negatively charged rod in contact with it. If we bring a negatively charged rod, it means it's highly charged. Then initially, this leaf was negatively charged, was, it was um, neutral like that. It has or it had number of protons and electrons distributed like that. And the leaf was uh, asleep or not diverged. Then now when you introduce it like this, what will happen? Like charges will repel and unlike charges will attract. Therefore, in this case, all the positives 
from the leaf down here and the plate will be attracted to the cup so here there will be attraction of the positives to the cup and then all the electrons which are at the cup will be repelled by these uh, electrons which are coming from the charging rod so here there will be repulsion so here in this case this is the the charging rod this is the charging rod which is negatively charged negatively charged it will repel all the negatives which are at the rod at the cup and it will attract all the positives which are at the leaf so in this case what will happen we will have a, a gold leaf electroscope which looks like this this is step one now we have step two we will have a gold leaf electroscope which looks like this we have the cup with the charging rod now up there but now in this case it has attracted all the positives from the uh, from the leaf and the plate so all the positives which are one two three will be attracted up here three plus the two which were there so there will be five in total and then there would be uh, negatives which were there in the charging rod and then now down here in the metal rod and the metal plate and the leaf there will be uh, negative charges which has been repelled so these negative charges which were at the cup and which were initially down here remember in the cup there were two in the rod there were one so the, 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 they will be pushed down here so we will have at the five electrons in the plate and at the leaf now what will happen remember these are two like charges now there will be a repulsion between the leaf and the metal plate so here the metal plate and the leaf will repel and when they repel now the leaf will diverge when they repel when they leave when the the plate and the leaf repel each other due to similar charges with are there therefore this uh the, this the leaf will diverge and then we will have a gold leaf electroscope which looks like this so we'll have a gold leaf electroscope which looks like that and it has diverged now so that the the leaf has repelled the metal plate like this since they have negative charges or similar charges they will repel like that and therefore in this case we will say the leaf has diverged the leaf has diverged or it has uh, risen or it has rose or it has risen then in this case remember in the cup the, the charging rod is in contact with the cup therefore since electrons can move five electrons will move from the charging rod into the cup and therefore inside here or inside this cup we will have each positive with an equal negative therefore it will be neutralized since electrons can move they could move from the car from the charging rod into the cup like that and therefore the the cup will be neutral now when the cup is neutral then it means we will have a uh, five electrons in the leaf and the and the and the plate and therefore there will be another five electrons in the cup and there will only be uh five protons in this electroscope therefore the number of protons will only be five the number of electrons Will, only, will be 10 therefore we will have five more electrons than protons and therefore our leaf now will be negatively charged in such a way that there will be five electrons in the leaf where we can have they will redistribute if you remove the the, the charging material if you remove this one then we will have five, three electrons there then there will be electrons which are uh, they live under the cup and therefore the divergency will maintain like that now remember what we have said is that when you have a neutral uh, gold leaf electroscope it has equal number of protons and neutrons if you want to charge it negatively you introduce a negatively charged rod in contact with the cup when you put it in contact with the cup it will repel similar charges that is negative charges to the leaf and then it will attract 
are opposite edges, that's positives. When this case happens, you come to diagram two. This diagram two now, all the protons have been attracted to the cap, all electrons have been repelled. When these electrons are repelled, they will move to the plate and they leave. Since they will, the leave and the plate acquire similar charges, they will repel. When they repel, divergence uh, occurs. Now, when divergence occurs, when you remove the charging rod, remember, electrons can move from the charging rod to the cap. Some of the electrons will move from the charging rod to the cap, and they will neutralize the positive there. Therefore, we will have the cap which is neutral. It means number of protons will be equal to number of electrons, but we will have the leaf and the, the plate which are negatively charged. Now, in this case, the, new, the one which are neutral, we don't count them. The excess five electrons will redistribute within the gold leaf, and that will have diagram three, which is negatively charged. So in this case, we have charged an, a gold leaf electroscope negatively by contact by introducing a negatively charged rod. So the second part, we are going to charge an electroscope positively by contact method. And remember we said charging by contact method, then you introduce a charging rod which has the same charge as the material that, or the charge that you want your material to acquire. So in this case, if you want an electroscope positively charged, then you have to introduce a positively charged rod. So we are going to begin by just having a neutral gold leaf electroscope where we have number of protons equal to the number of electrons. Let's say in the cup, we have two protons and two electrons. And then in the metal rod, we have one proton and one electron. And then on the leaf, we have one proton and one electron also on the metal plate, one proton and one electron. Then now, if you want to charge it a positively by induction, then you will introduce a positively charged rod. If you introduce a positively charged rod, then you will have a, and then you will have a gold leaf which looks like this. Remember, you bring it in contact. In contact means they will touch each other. So here you will bring a positively charged rod, a highly positively charged rod. Then what will happen in this case is that the, since you had this electroscope a neutral, let me draw the way it was neutral like this. Then they also you have a metal rod like this, which also has equal number of protons and a neutron that is positive and negative. And then you have the leaf which has not diverged in this case with equal number of protons and neutron. It's electrically neutral. Now, when you introduce this charging rod, this is the rod which is positively charged. In contact with the cup, what will happen? There will be um, like charges repelling. So in this case, the protons, the protons will be repelled. These protons will be repelled down. There will be a, a repansion. There will be a repansion. Let me use a black ink. Repansion of the positives. And then the negatives will be attracted to the cup. All these electrons will be attracted. So there will be attraction of the electrons to the cup because they are opposite charges of the positives. Remember, we are introducing a positively charged rod. Then they will attract all the negatives to the cup. And then since the positives at the cup are similar to the positives on the charging rod, they will be repelled down. Then in this case, we will have our gold leaf electroscope, which looks like this. When they have been attracted and repelled, some of them have been repelled, then we will have the cup of the electroscope with now uh, five electrons like this. Remember, there were three electrons down here and there were two on the cup. So we will have uh, five of them like that. Then we will have our charging rod with positive charges like this, which was positively charged. Then the, 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 the metal rod in this case will not have anything. So since they have been attracted and then they have some, post, some negatives have been repelled, then I'm going to draw it where it was um, neutral. Divergence has not occurred. Then it means in this case, all the uh, protons 
will be repelled down here. All the protons, which were five, will be repelled down here. Remember now the plate and the leaf will have similar charges, that is positive, and like charges repel. So here there will be a repulsion. There will be a repulsion caused by the protons which have been repelled to the plate and the leaf. Now when they repel, then we will have a diagram which looks like this. When they repel, we will have a diagram after repulsion. We will have a diagram which looks like this. We have negatives which have been attracted to this charging rod which was positively charged like this. And then now down here, the protons have been have repelled each other in such a way that we have some positives on the metal plate and some positives in the leaf. And in this case, this is what we call divergency. Divergency, all it has diverged. In this case, all the leaf has risen. Then now when this happens, remember, electrons can move from the metal plate to the charging rod. So some of the electrons will move. All the electrons which are at the cap will be attracted and move from the cap to the charging rod. So the, the cap will remain empty. Now when the cap remains empty, then we will have this diagram three. We will have a charge, a, a gold leaf electroscope like this. If now we remove the charging rod, then we will have an empty uh, cap like that. And then down here, we will have a diverged uh, leaf uh, like that. Then now, since this cup is empty, now the positives will redistribute. The positives will redistribute themselves within the cup of the electroscope. And what you will realize, there will be a slight fall. There will be a slight fall in this uh, leaf, but it will be still diverged. You will have a leaf, which now a gold leaf electroscope, which looks like this. The divergence will just decrease slightly like that because some of the protons will move to the cup and redistribute themselves within the cup of this gold leaf electroscope. So there will be uh, the, 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 there will be still a repulsion between the leaf and the on the plate, and some of the protons will move to the cup of the gold leaf electroscope, and therefore this one will be positively charged. Positively. Charged. Remember, to charge it positively, you will need a neutral diagram one, a neutral gold leaf electroscope. Then you bring a positively charged rod in contact with the cap. When you bring it in contact with the cap, it will attract opposite charges, that's negative charges from the leaf to the cap, and then it will repel positive charges to the leaf. Now, when the positives have been repelled to the leaf and the plate, since the plate and the leaf will acquire positive charges, they will repel each other. When they repair each other, divergence will take place. Now, when divergence has taken place, remember negative electrons can move from the cup to the charging rod. Now, in this case, they will move from the cup to the charging rod. This leaf will remain empty. When it remains empty there, now the protons will move up and redistribute within the, whole, the entire electroscope, and therefore, there will be a slight fall in divergence since some of the positives will move up to the cup, but entirely the, car, the gold leaf electroscope will remain uh, positively charged. Look at this, we have charged it positively using a positively charged rod. So that will mark the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss charging a gold leaf electroscope by induction method.